Hello guys, <clears throat> as I told you before, I have made a video and uh, the title was uh, I am waiting for my stock to go up. And in this, I, I will give you like it's just an example of um, of the practice of what it looks like when you begin to lose money and you don't uh, put stop loss. Okay, this is just an example. This uh, stock is called HTBX which is called Heat Biologics Inc. and it's in the drug sector, in biotechnology uh, industry. Now, suppose that this stock, okay, you see that the stock is going up and suppose you buy here, just an example, okay? Suppose that you see that there is a spike here and you think that this stock from let's say what's the price here for example you buy the stock as ten dollars eighty five cents okay let's let's do it with the green okay and the stock is going up is doing very well very well until it reaches fifteen dollars okay from ten to fifteen which is very good money and then it means like five dollars uh profit for each share and then one one week you will begin to see that your stock is heading south it means heading down so instead of putting this is the highest for example let's let's say the highest okay let's give the colors here uh, the, uh, i like these colors because i use them in the chart so the green it means i buy the blue is the highest uh the stock has reached and for example, this one, just I give you an example. This, which is the red, is the stop loss. Okay? Now, we check the stop loss. Now, <clears throat> as I told you before, you buy the stock here at, in this, okay, in this day, at least you will know which day you, okay. You buy in this candlestick here, and then the stock just goes up okay you are making money which is very good now one day the stock is going down okay from 1529 to 1375 you lose two dollars here for so here all here all the days that two weeks or three weeks <coughs> you get five dollars profit but in one day you lose two and then suppose that you this is the thing you don't put stop loss now second day third fourth one week it goes down second week but the third week here you lose all your profit first for all these days all here all these days all these two weeks or three weeks you are making money two weeks you are losing money okay you lose all your profit it means you have five dollars <throat> each pay each uh, share you lost it in two weeks you lose all your money profit okay I'm speaking about profit but in few days you begin to lose your own money and all this you begin to lose your money it goes down 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 until seven okay so and you have this expression which says or this sentence i am waiting for my stock to go up how do you know that from 1529 okay the highest now it is seven it lost 50 percent of the of the of the price of the money of the of the stock okay and no one knows where it can ha head to. Maybe it goes to five, four, three, two, one. This company is losing money. People are short selling it. People are selling their stocks. Okay, so it's 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 a big mess here. If you stay in this kind of of stocks, although the first time you get money, but you are unable to preserve what your profit and this is uh, a major problem in following the trend
okay you don't know how to follow the trend you don't know how to deal with the trend either uptrend or downtrend okay so in this situation you have done two mistakes the first mistake is you can't handle uh, the uptrend it means you have a profit and you lost it okay this is here all here go up go down you lose all your profit this is the first mistake second mistake is that you lose your own money because of because you don't put uh, a stop loss now here I give you a solution to this problem okay I give you a solution suppose you put stop loss here let's say let's say $14 okay $40 stop loss and the stock was fifteen twenty nine. So from ten dollars to to fourteen, you have four hundred dollars for each one hundred shares. But for example, you bought the stock with fifteen hundred uh, with uh, uh, with one thousand. Okay, one thousand dollars for example, because it's ten dollars. It goes to 1500s it means you uh, your profit was 500 but since you put the stop loss at 14 when the stop when the your stop loss get hit you lose $100 so all your money that your profit is $400 okay this is when you put a stop loss you have $400 now if, if the if the stock price is going down you are out of it you have your four hundred dollars you are lucky and it's very good because you are right at the first time when you buy a 10 it goes to 15 you are right and it's a good trade but if you put your stop loss you take your profit and get out now if the stock is going down like this so you are not losing like other people so you become more uh, or you you become better than other traders okay, who hold their stock and even if it goes to 7 it's not your problem because you get $400 now suppose that you, do, you don't put a stop loss you have your $500 you lose them in 2 weeks this is the profit that you had $500 you lose $500 okay you lose all your profit and then you begin to lose your own money which is three hundred dollars so you buy with five, one thousand it, it reaches seven dollars so you you uh you lose three hundred dollars from one thousand so you have seven hundred dollars okay and if you stay more and more and more yeah uh, you will lose more and more this thing that I am talking about and I explained in the in the other video which is theory this is practice I, I showed you how important it is to use the stop loss the stop loss saves you saves your profit and saves your life and saves your money if you don't put stop loss you will get hit many times and you will lose all your money and then you cannot trade okay so hope you understand this lesson please if you have any question about this a practice example okay practice example uh, please let me know because this is just for the beginners and for intermediate level those who still struggle and not put the stop loss okay so thank you very much for uh, for watching if you have any questions just ask